We don't yet have a vaccine for COVID-19. But what we need to remember is that COVID-19 was only identified at the end of December 2019. So essentially, it's less than five months old. And normally, it takes more than 10 years to develop a vaccine. It's likely that by the end of 2020, we'll have some clinical data on certain vaccine candidates um, from a safety perspective and also um, to tell us whether the vaccine shows signs of being protective. There are multiple challenges to developing an effective vaccine, which is why it normally takes more than 10 years to develop one. Firstly, the speed at which we want a vaccine to be developed and available to everyone. And secondly, the scale, the number of doses that we we want available. We want doses available for everyone in the world, ideally. And this is in the billions. There's no guarantee that we'll be able to develop an effective vaccine against COVID-19. This isn't a given. So what a two billion funding gap means is that with the multiple candidates which are currently in early stage development, it might mean that some promising candidates may not be able to be taken forward. In essence, we have fewer shots on goal and less opportunities, less chances to develop an effective vaccine. It could also take much longer. But I am optimistic. I do think that we are able to develop an effective and safe vaccine and that it will be available in the doses which we need. And when it is available, we need to ensure that it's accessible to everyone around the world. Because as long as one country still has COVID, we're all at risk.